Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones Pod for Crusader Kings 2. We've almost finished our wars to make the realms a little bit more stable. And uh, yes, our daughter just got kidnapped by pirates. That's just not on. We will definitely go and sort that out uh, right after this war. So, speed up the game and head uh, on down. Darren asks, why is church so rich when peasants are starving and poor? Why is the church so rich when peasants are starving and poor? Um, well, he's the one asked you. I also had the Faith of the Seven stuff earlier. Um, because the poor is in... Because for the poor is the kingdom of heaven. Or how about sharing some of your own then? Um, hmm. Well, what are we? I think we would probably go towards this one. Because one has a chance of making him zealous for the Faith of the Seven, which definitely does not seem like something we're wanting to push, because we are, of course, not Faith of the Seven. So, how about showing some of your own, then? He's gained the Just trait. Okay. Uh, I thought we had a new thing up here, but we don't really have a new thing up there. That's fine. Your Grace, I'll honor my allegiance to take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. Soon the armies of Eastweld will join you. Okay. Good. How's the siege going in the uh, plagued province? It's going all right. Uh, my courtier Valar practically lives in the kitchen. It's a little glutton. Well, um, do we have anything against gluttony? Nothing specifically against gluttony. Um, I don't think we're quite at pray the holy fire will save him. We kind of don't care about like he's here as a prisoner. And we don't want him ha developing good um, habits. We want him to be, uh, you know, we want him to be content. Yeah, just just eat. Be you'll be fine. We'll just uh, let him have bad habits, and uh, that that'll be fine. Under my guidance, my young courtier Darren is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Okay. How's the siege going? Going any quicker now? No, not really. Hmm, it's actually slowing down a little bit. That's a lot of men on King's Landing. What what are they all doing there? I guess they're all going after Bravos' armies. Yup. They are chasing them around. We're really winning the other two wars quite nicely. So really all we need to do is siege. And we will actually get 100% war score from sieging as well, which would be nice. Uh, my prisoner, Lord Rolder of the Crag, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeons, asking for more suitable accommodation. Um... We will uh, be merciful. He hasn't tried to escape. I was trying to remember whether he tried to escape or not. My beloved son, Anus, is, is concerned that he is not yet married. Um, he's also zealous for Faith the Seven. That's just not on it as well. Um, well, I'll find him someone nice. Well, okay. So he's 16. Which of our sons is he? So he's our fifth son. Okay. Let's find him someone uh, to marry. Who's it reckon? That's not a very long list of marriages, to be honest with you. It's not a very good list of marriages either. So what we're looking, we're looking for all. We're looking for a woman who is not married. They can be a ruler. Uh, not imprisoned. Um, we'll go for any religion right now. Any culture. Adult and part of a great house. Right. Highest ranked. So we could marry him off to these people. Uh, to the Magars. Who are the Magars? They're Volantis. That's not too bad an idea, actually. I actually quite like the idea of Volantis, if, although she's a bit old. Yeah. Uh, we need, it'd be nice if you could set, like, filter conditions, like. But not over this age or things like that. Anyway. What have we got here? Dothraki. Still. Um, that's not going to work. Also, I think she can't marry. If I've got that right. Anyway. How about you? You are in charge of something. The spearmen all the way over there. Probably not. Probably not going to be suitable. Uh, also, what's our son like? This does the thing. He's content, zealous, charitable, paranoid. Um, maybe I want to find someone who's my religion and try and convert him. There we go. Rylor. Is there anybody who's, uh, you know, really into that? 
a Lyseni, maybe? Mmm, okay. How about her? She's Zealous Rylor. Okay. That's, that seems like that might work. Let's try and arrange a marriage. There we go. Arrange marriage between that and our son. We're at war, currently. Yeah, that is an issue. Right. Uh, that would be a nice uh, modifier as well. Like, not at war. Uh, how about we sort by age this time? Uh, how about you? Valentine? Uh, you're slothful? Mm, maybe not. Just want to see if we've got any other uh, options here. Ah, Zealous. Again, that one might work. Fashionable. Valentine. Um, brave, patient. She looks perfect. Yeah. Let's marry her to him. Perfect. We lose a, a little bit of prestige from doing this, but that's fine. It's all for the greater good in trying to convert our son. Right. Also, she she's not that bad a match to start with. Okay. Uh, Prince Inez Blackfire and Sorella Rulios have gotten married. It's customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house. Well, I mean, I guess we're going to ask for it because we we seem to run out of money a lot. He's given us the customary amount. See, that's good. Uh, now, we should probably hold a wedding, right? Host a wedding feast. There we go. Which then costs us more than the customary amount, but it doesn't matter. I've given my orders for grand ceremony and feast to be hosted in High Garden in honor of Prince Is Blackfire and Sorella Rulios' wedding. Let the preparations begin. We're hosting the feast, like, basically outside the gates of High Garden. That seems a little bit rude, but okay. That seems a little bit off. Uh, Lord Barathon, um, Barthogan Blacksword for the North. Hmm, no, we're not going to accept that, but is interesting. Oh wow, this plague has just got worse and worse as we've been here. My prisoner, Sir Jamie Fozaway, is complaining about his dark cell and dungeons, asking for more suitable accommodation. Well, we've already taken his title, so we'll be merciful. This siege is really uh, hurting us. Best part about holding, hosting a wedding feast is organizing the whole event. Um, we'll, we'll spend enough to make it nice. I mean, we've already spent a hundred, and we only got um, we only got fifty from that event, so. We're doing pretty. We're putting a lot of effort into it. Then we sent out the invitations. Conditions are worsening in Crow's Edge. Okay. Dear King Damon, thank you for the invitation, but I'll not be able to attend your wedding feast. Says many people. Probably because they're at war. Okay. That was a lot of them. Uh, my liege, I write to you of shocking news. Rickon tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kill King Damon, the Beggar King, your humble Castilian, Quentin Ball. Really? Oh, what's this? Uh, we surrender under these terms. Oh, wow. Bravos. You can surrender under those terms anytime you want. Fantastic. Look how much money we just got. Uh, do we have any loans to pay off? I don't think so. That's on my other campaign. Okay, that's fine. So we're fine. Excellent. Um, yeah, people are honouring their allegiances and things. We've almost got High Garden. Uh, Rosefords are joining us. Okay. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. Sorella's gown is splendid and castles never looked lovelier. Welcome to the wedding. Good. Uh, Lord Aris of Honeyholt died a natural death. Now, Sorella Rulios and in us, Blackfire, stand before the gods to take up a holy vow of marriage. The great lords and ladies of the Iron Throne look on as they drapes the arms of House Blackfire and crown the bride to finally seal their marriage. Okay. Right. Oh, we lost more men in the siege. The siege is really uh, taking a toll on the number of men we have left. Feast is winding down, now only the bedding remains. Enos and uh, Sorelia are stripped of all garments by the revelers to make many a body joke along the way, then finally bundled into a bedchamber where they are finally left alone, a fine tradition. This honourable Lord Balin Karen has failed to answer my calls, it might be because he's 11, possibly. Side of hall, things are happening, that is winter. 
Morning after the wedding feast has come and all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home, all agree it was a fine celebration and many predict the newlyweds will be most content. I had great fun and so did everyone else. Good. Lord Aaron the Shadow has swept the High Lordship of Prince's Pass from Lord Dezel of Skyreach. So the Fowlers have taken it from... Oh, the Fowlers. So it's just like an in-family uh, thing. My nephew Olvar is aiming for the stars, the ambitious little brat. Um, I mean, is he He is in line to, to Dorn. I mean, I think that's fine. He's not a prisoner. Olvar sets a great goal sets great goals for himself and works hard at reaching them. He has gained the ambitious trait. So yeah, he's uh I mean, it might cause us trouble later, but he's not like our prisoner, he's somebody who we're educating, so no real problem there. Your Grace, I'll, I don't think he's our prisoner anyway cuz I mean, I I'm not entirely sure about the story, but I don't think he's our prisoner. I think he's just here as a uh to be educated. I could be wrong. If I am, please tell me. Uh, your grace, I'll honor my allegiance to take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. The armies of Golden Grove will join you as soon as possible. Good. Hayford is done. We're almost finished the siege of Highgarn, which has lasted forever. It is a very long siege. My uh, young courtier, Aaron, Arian, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Your Grace, I'll honor my allegiance to take up arms. That's Lingard Keep, although he just died from the plague, so I mean, it's it's all right. I appreciate the effort. We should get this in three ticks, right? And then we can start sorting out the realm. Oh, what? Well, okay, Patrol can marry Lionel Baratheon. Can marry uh, Daenerys. Yes, that's all right. What level of education would you like to purchase for Princess Morella? Uh, the most possible. Yeah, uh, yes, she is our daughter, after all. And then we have to choose Education Focus, and we will choose... Um, she's being educated by her wife. Maybe Intrigue stuff? I might be fine. Yeah, she's not really into Intrigue. Okay. Uh, what's she into? She's kind of into Diplomacy and... And Martial a little bit. Maybe Diplomacy? Is that alright? Yes. Nothing's going to be perfect. Diplomacy's not too far off, though. Right. Uh, he has offered the same thing. We propose that they get married. Except. It, it accepted, I think. Daenerys is married. Yes, our son-in-law, Lionel Baratheon. An agreement has been reached with Lord Paramount Aaron to see Lionel Baratheon and Princess Daenerys Blackfire wed. Now the diary is due to the groom's house. I suspect customary amount. Yes. 200 gold. Damn, that's a lot. Uh, under my guidance, my young courtier Valar is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Okay. I suspect it was so much because it probably scales on rank. And we are empire rank. So that that's where the thing kind of falls in. Like the other people were unlanded. So they didn't have to pay us as much. My courtier, Darion, does his homework and is always on time for his lessons. Okay. Uh, thank Rylor, uh, Rylor for his uh, virtues. Child needs to lighten up. He's a good mentor. Um, hmm. Raise him in front of the court. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do here because he is, we are trying to effectively temper what he's doing. I guess we'll just say he has a good mentor. I mean, there's not really much else we can do there. Like, there's no way we can undermine his education at all. So, it's fine. Uh, Dear King Daemon of the Iron Throne, I hereby invite you to the wedding of Lionel Baratheon and Princess Daenerys Blackfire in Blackheart. Your presence would be greatly appreciated and look forward to your attendance. Lord Paramount Aaron Baratheon. I will, of course, travel to the wedding. Um, Lord Paramount Daemon the Indolent has formed an alliance with Lord Gorman of Cockleswint. Hmm. Okay. We will uh, end this war any second. All right. Oh, we, we're not in charge of that war. Okay, but it ended. And now we are about to end the War of the Reach. Any second now. Dear King Damon, I'm a bit concerned about this war you currently struggle with and therefore decided I would send you a small gift. Nothing much. Just so you can hire some more soldiers. Sincerely, your friend, Prince Eamon. He sent us three, three ducats. 
Wow. I don't know what to say. The people of King's Landing can no longer work the field because it is cold. Uh, oh, we almost got it, but they got more morale. Okay. Lord Paramount Aaron uh, greets us warm, uh, greeted us warmly to the wedding. Fine arbor gold was served. Most lovely music was played throughout the whole night. The ceremony between Lionel and uh, Princess Daenerys and the grand feast will be held upon the morrow. Thank you for having us. Now Daenerys Blackfire and Lionel Baratheon stand before the gods to take up a holy vow of marriage. Look, great lords and ladies of the Stormlands look on his drapes the ar arms of House Baratheon around the bride to finally seal their marriage. And now for the feast. The wedding was great, but I couldn't stand Lord Paramount Aaron's irritating voice for more than a couple of hours. So I excused myself, grabbed a couple of wine bottles, and headed for a quiet corner. Someone else had the same thought as me, and together we shared wine and our dislike for Lord Paramount Aaron. Our mutual dislikes made us friends. Ah, so our son, who we just married off, uh, we've now become friends with after some drinking. Okay. I enjoyed Lord um, Barham's company. We talked in the garden for several hours until we both fell asleep. Maybe it was because of all the wine we uh, drank. So we're also friends with uh, Lord Barham Selmy. Oh. And friends with uh, Lord Eldon uh, Grandis Grandinson? Grandison? Anyway. And... Friends with uh, Lord Ralph Buckler. Okay. We're just friends of everyone. Uh, I was seated beside a person I never talked with before. We ended up in the garden with a couple of bottles from King Damon's well stocked Dornish wine cellar. Apparently we just went wild on this wine cellar. We just we just stole a whole bunch from it and then just went drinking with different people, like a whole group of them. That's Baram Selmy again, right? Oh, and H Prince Hagen and us. Um, so that's our son, right? Yes, yes, it is our son. And we also became friends with Lord uh, Connington. Lord Egan Connington. Wow. That's a lot of people we just became... We have a lot of friends now. All in the Stormlands, pretty much. Alright. My courtier, Aaron, is modest and humble, never showing off or bragging. I mean... I guess that's kind of what we want, yeah. We want him to be humble. That seems about right. My courtier, Marteris, is not exerting himself in his studies. I'm starting to despair. Um, no, we're fine. We're fine with that. We're absolutely fine if he's slothful. That's what we're after. He's a Targaryen. We're, he's our uh, prisoner, effectively. Your courtier, Marteris, started breaking the rules of the games he plays with other children. Apparently thinks winning is more important than fair play. We've had this before. Don't give him ambitious, so we have to give him ruthless. Conditions are worsening in Deepwood. Okay. We have almost got... There's two more ticks for the siege. Feast is wind down now. Only the bedding remains. Lionel and Daenerys are stripped of all garments by the revelers to make many a body joke along the way. They're finally bundled into the bedchamber. They're finally left alone. A fine tradition. Right. And... One more tick. Okay. At Lord Parent Aaron's wedding is over. It's now time to begin the long way home. After the music, the entertainment, and warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. Will there be another wedding? Your Grace, we shall search the dungeons at once. Um, do we want to release? Okay. Do we want to release the Tyrells who are currently in prison? I think so. Yes. Your Grace, the leader is not here. Well, we'll ask his family along with us then. Your Grace, I. Prince Aaron Blackfire requests the right to take the black and guard the realms of men as a sworn brother of the Night's Watch. Okay, Aaron is our... something. One of our sons. He is our second youngest son. I think we give him leave to go. Yeah. Um, We'll give him a quick mark of special interest and we'll leave, let him go. If we get too many events, then we'll uh, stop doing that. We'll stop other things happening. But I think that's fine that he wants to be part of the uh, Night's Watch. Do you want to surrender yet? Nope. He doesn't want to give up yet. Guess we'll keep sieging down. Where is he anyway? He's just in hiding? Okay. Lord uh, Medgar of Riverrun has declared Lord Medgar of Riverrun's war for the Riverlands on Lord Paramount Aegir Bittersteel. So the Tullys with 4,000 men have declared in Bittersteel with 2,000. Okay. Alright, so how do we get more... I guess we just have to keep sieging for more war score. 
I mean, there's no plague here, so that's fine. Uh, we still have the dangerous faction for the north. We should probably decide who's going to be in charge of the north. We're kind of finished a lot of wars. Um, now, do we have anyone I marked for the north? Like, the first one I marked is probably going to get it. Uh, not the Conningtons. Although, interesting, we were friends with a Connington. Oh, the parent of uh, one of our Kingsguard. Oh, that's good. Lord Commander, in fact. That's, that's very uh, suitable. The Hornwoods? Um, they are up there, right? Yep, they were the first to the Clare, I think. We would be happy to give him the land. He is infirm, however. We may want to give his son... Can we give his son the land? No, we'd have to give him the land. But do we like his son? Um, we're okay with his son. So we could give it to the Hornwoods. Not the Redwines, the Pharaohs, the Mullins... Or we give it to the Manderleys, who are a much larger house. And he doesn't look like he's going to drop dead any second now. Um, we don't like him very much, though. I'm just seeing if there's anyone else we marked as the clearing early. Not really. So I guess we'll give it to Hornwood. Uh, wait. I can't grant you anything? Oh, because you're not underneath us. That's very annoying, actually. Well, I guess we'll grant it grant it to them afterwards. King Othar the Scarred has inherited the Kingdom of the Vale and other titles from Donal Aaron. Oh, oh dear. Well, that is, um, that's certainly interesting. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.